I just want to get something straight. Seeing great American generals crying on TV is not filling me with enthusiasm for the war against our aggressors, the foreign eastern bear, Russia, and Mr. Putin, the wicked slayer of innocent children. I know the West has much to say in the world of hypocrisy when it comes to war, but so do Islam, so do Communism. Buddhism doesn't much, actually. That's probably why they'll win the long game. Remember, Jesus Christ said the meek shall inherit the earth. We have no reason to disbelieve that. We never have. That's one of the reasons we're quasi-conservatives in Britain. Conservatism in Britain is hugely laced within a Christian format of the Church of England. And the power and the wealth and the glory in the name of our understanding of Christendom that that subscribes itself to. Seeing American generals bursting into tears because their son's upset is a bit of a telling tale as to the true emotional state of our dear ancient brothers and cousins, the Americanos. Yes, they betrayed the crown of Britain years and years and years ago. But see how a, a, a land of massive multicultural genius in the name of freedom can go on to lead an entire world in technology, in entertainment, in music, in cinema, in fashion, all these fantastic things, which I'm sorry to say Russia and China and, and other lesser developed nations have you not yet managed to do at the level required to really wow the audience? Okay? That's hugely the power of America. They have invested so much into their propaganda machine that we are now watching Top Gun. And yes, it is a great film. It is, as filmmaking goes, it's an amazing film. It is completely brilliant. Very entertaining. Especially if you can climb up Tom Cruise's shoulders and get over his ego. Okay, but apart from that, it's a very cool film. Worth every penny of entertainment in cinema. Because you get to ride on, you know, F-16s and shit like that. And that's, that's kind of what cinema is for. It's to take you out of yourself and into a new experience using high-grade quality cameras. By which to just tell a yarn, a story. But the thing is, the Hollywood propaganda machine has become so powerful, what with their awesome understanding of cinema, like the whole Marvel thing, the whole Disney thing, they are leagues ahead of everyone else, mate, of everyone else. We cannot even touch that legacy of brilliance when it comes to cinematic perfection. I have been making films for a long time in my own mediocre way. And I can't get near the level they're operating at. They are just wildly visionary. And I'm glad to say we have studios opening up in Britain welcoming their creative content and giving people jobs en masse, really good jobs as well on the whole. My God, wouldn't you rather be working for the, the world of dreams and creative utopia than down a salt mine dredging for some kind of sustenance? Must be shit. Right, thank God I got educated. I, I wasn't the best, I wasn't an A grade student. But um but I passed most things with flying cards apart from French. I was never too good at French, I got a D in that, but you know, that's still a an embarrassing pass. But never mind. El Dura Montois. That's not quite right. What does that mean? That the God my right. Oh yeah, that's permanent. Something like that. Um, I'm, I'm with that because I, I have, I've personally not been a general in a war, but I love my daughter very much, like he loves his son. And I agree with the chap that, you know, Russia are appearing to be an aggressor. And how sweet is it to be in custody of such sweet freedom and beauty and love and peace? that an American general is weeping emotionally. That's beautiful, actually. Don't be cynical.
That's how he got into his position. He knows. And this is what I want to tell you. The truth in reality is not what you think per se. It's what you feel. And in that, if you can define it into terms that lyrically flourish in a form of communication, then you are in essence an actualized and genius human being. And to see him tonight with the wonderful Martin Bashir was a case in point to the beauty of the West. The beauty of the West and why I love living here every day on the whole. And even when I don't, I make it known and I can do that with the Freedom of Speech Act, right? But in other countries, I would so be shot and killed. Definitely Islamic hardliner countries. I'd be dead a long time ago for my liberational ways. And I don't want to die. I want to rock on and party. You know what I mean? I want to love and live and thrive and laugh. Right? They're the essences of God's brilliant freedoms. And that is hugely what America and Britain and Europe and by extension many places have all helped to defend en masse against true dogmatic oppression and totalitarianism and things like Nazism and fascism which I'm sorry you can't call the English police fascists. Fascists would just have you idiots shot, right? No two questions about it. What you have to what you have to respect about the police of Britain I'm not they're not the same as American. American police are not the same thing and I like the the UK police. They are men of understanding of law. Not gun happy John Wayne Trigger enthusiasts. Think, yeah, shoot me in England, I'll be here in town. No, it's not like that in England. In England the law we do, they don't carry guns. They don't need them. Alright? England is safe by me and really fucking cool. Yeah, not everyone's beautiful and attractive and some of us have dodgy teeth, okay? But it's not all about the teeth, it's about the knowledge and the wisdom and the finery of so many aspects of profundity and reality that you'll never believe what is the truth in this, in this domain of atmospherical cosmic existence. Because you can't, because we're educated enough to know just how many different forces of science and religion and power and grace and knowledge and all these things and love and literature and music and arts they're all swirling about our minds daily consistently in a, in a smorgasbord of social enthusiasm for a good way of life, a better way of life, a fun way of life, an exciting way of life, a joyous way of life and that is why Whatever you think of American politics, or Russian, or anyone who's a dickhead, it was great to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers at London Stadium this year. And they really are masters of funk, rock, rap genius. Boy, do those old dudes know how to pull out a party. Yes, I loved it. So thank you very much. And may your God go with you as well as us. And we're with you. Not them. Cheers, buddy. Help me out with it. That's the thing, though, Norman. I love you. Really, I do. But seeing you lying there, dying slowly in your own blood, it's, it's like a mutilated pig. It's, it's so exciting. <laughs> oink, 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 oink. oink. <laughs> She didn't love you, Norman. I do. I always have. And once you're better, you'll stay with me. Jesus! What's happening to these lunchtime soaps? In fact, I've had a better idea. If I stay with you, then you can't escape. Yes, that's what we'll do. Come on, shake a leg. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, you can't, can you? Okay. I'll join you. Um, Rob, what exactly are you doing? I want to stay with you, Norman, forever and ever. No more worries, no more locals hassling me, because I bat for the other side. We'll stay together. It's going to be a hell of a trip. And where exactly are we going? Some call it heaven, but I don't like that idea much. Too much like a fairy tale, and uh, we know that they don't exist, don't we, Norm? And this is the ticket to wait, ride. Wait, Rob, are you sure you know what you're doing? I mean, couldn't we just exist a bit longer? I mean... I don't think so, do you? Rob, wait! Rob, all aboard! Uh